Good morning, happy Friday. I just practically did the reverse limbo because my dog decided to crawl under a bush to do her business <laughs> in someone's yard that I have to pick it up in. You know, not just, uh, well, I pick it up wherever it is, so it doesn't really matter, but. Mm -hmm. I watched a video this morning where this guy was talking about veganism, and this isn't bit meant to be anything against vegans because hey i'm of the belief that you can be anything you want to be right if you want to be a vegan be a vegan if you want to be a vegetarian be a vegetarian if you want to be an omnivore like myself be it okay be it and be it well <laughs> but this comedian was talking about veganism and he said i'm a vegan and they're like, no, you're not. You you eat turkey, you eat ham, you eat beef. And he's like, well, I know, but they're plant matter. And the other guy was like, how you figure? And he goes, well, that's all they eat is, come on, wait, guy, come on. You're going to get covered in pollen. Come on. Yes, she still has on her shirt because she's chilly this morning. Anyway, he says they're plant matter because that that's all they eat is grass and hay and corn and plant matter. So he said, I, I'm a vegan. I just eat ham and turkey and beef. <laughs> that's my kind of veganism. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hit on yesterday real quick and then I'm gonna let it go, okay? Uh, I'm going to post to Faceplate three times a day short videos. I'm going to number them one, two, and three. And you can wait till the end of the day and watch all three of them in a row, or you can watch them as they come out, or you can go to the UserTube and watch one long. It will be the same thing on UserTube that it is on Faceplate. It'll just be one continuous instead of three short ones. Hi, could you please stop, baby? You're gonna be covered in pollen. Yeah, I guess I confused everything when I said what I said. I said what I said, but I am still posting to both. And I know people still post long videos. It's not that you can't, it's that they won't notify people when you post a longer video. So I used to get eight to 10,000 views. That doesn't mean all those people watched. It just means it was sent out to 10,000 people. And now it's sent out to one to 2,000 people. And of that one to 2,000, maybe 800 watch it or something. Whereas, it used to be sent out to 10,000 and 5,000 would watch it or whatever. It's not that you can't post them. It's that no one will see if you post a longer video. You're not going to get notified of a longer video unless you go search it or unless you're in that small group of people that they are sending the notice to. They still send notices. It's just to a way smaller group. But if you make shorter videos, they send it out to more people. And I know you might not understand this, but I just looked at the videos that I've posted recently. Every longer video that I have posted have had 2,000 views. They've had, that, that means they were sent out to that many people, 2,000 views. The reels that I have sent out, which are one minute or less, 17,000. 10,000 views, the little three and five minute videos that I have sent out have already had 2,000 views, which is what my longer videos had we, like two weeks ago. They've had 2,000 views total, that's it. That's what I'm saying. They're not sending them out to that many people. I hope this helps explain all that. And this is the last time I'm gonna talk about it. So three videos a day to faceplate, you can wait till the end of the day and watch them in order, or you can watch them as they come up. And then one 
combined video of those three on the other page. And I'm only going to do the ending one time at the end of the third video so that each one doesn't have to do that because I'm telling y'all, I was worn out yesterday because I worked on videos for five hours to get all those chopped up. So I'm not, <laughs> it's too hard. Okay, I'm done. Toodles, I'll be back. Were you one of those moms that always walked around with your baby on your hip? I am. I'm one of those moms, yes. I work with one hand. I clean with one hand. <laughs> I do everything with one hand, don't I? Yeah, because I got a baby on my hip. Oh, it's the garbage truck. Are you gonna get the garbage truck? Why don't you sit and look at them and tell them exactly what's wrong with you? You wanna tell them what's wrong? Or do you want me to tell them what's wrong? She's mad, because she can't have a treat. <laughs> Anyway, a guy in Chicago walked into a bank. This is not a joke. I know it always starts out that way, right? A joke starts out that way. A man walks into a bar. Well, this time a man walks into a bank and he hands the teller a note that says, give me 100s, 50s, and 20s and nobody gets hurt. Ooh. He said, are you wanting down? Because you just wanted me to pick you up, so I'm not real sure what's going on. Let me put her down. She's having a day. Hundreds, fifties, twenties. Put it in a bag and nobody gets hurt. He then tells her, after you put the money in the bag, then you go over there and sit down, sit on your hands for 30 seconds. We're watching you. And then he turns around and walks out of the bank, okay? Easy peasy mac and cheesy. Well, she put a dye pack in the bag, of course, and there was a tracking thingy thingy, uh, I guess on the money or on the, I don't know how banks do that, so I, I don't know, but there was tracking in the bag is all I'm saying. Well, instead of the man jumping in a getaway car or, I don't know, having a, even a taxi or an Uber waiting for him. He walked 500 feet down the road and stood waiting on the bus to come pick him up. <laughs> so, when the person who was sitting on her hands hit the alarm, the police were dispatched and uh, found the man still standing there waiting on the bus. And the man simply said, it was me. I did it. If I wanted to go to jail, because there are people that want to go to jail, I think I would do something a little less than robbing a bank. Because, well, I mean, unless you just want to stay there for a long time, because that's a very serious crime. Back when I worked the jail, we had a guy come to jail who picked up a rock and threw it through the window at the Kmart, at the Kmart, at the Kmart, depending on where you're from and who you are. And he just stood there and waited on the police. And when the police got there, they were like, did you throw that rock through the window? Yep. <laughs> they were like, why? He said, it's cold and I'm hungry. I wanted three hots and a cot. And that's what he got three hots and a cot. I know that may blow some of your minds that people actually want to come to jail, but sometimes jail is better than what they've got. Isn't that the saddest thing? And then on the other side of that, two young men escaped from a jail in Perry, I think Perry, Georgia, and they took the deputy's gun and hit him in the head with it and took off. So they're down there on the loose. I guess they're still on the loose. But that reminded me of the night that an inmate <laughs> took off running and he climbed over one of the fences that had razor wire wrapped around the top. And I don't know if you know this, but razor wire is very sharp. Mm -hmm. 
And so as he was going over it, he slit that, it just flayed it right open like a fillet of fish. <laughs> and the, the most important part of that story is that when he went over that fence, he still had two other fences to go over. He picked the wrong fence because if he had run straight back and went over that fence, he'd only had one more fence to go over. Yeah. So he made it even harder on himself, which just proves that criminals are not the smartest. They're not the brightest bulbs in the box. They're not the sharpest crayons in the box. They're not the, <laughs> I could keep going, but I think you get my drift. Yeah, big dummies. I'm going back to work. I just finished my lunch and thought I'd pop in. This is number two. <laughs> See ya. Y'all, I am about to go in the new store that just opened and I'm gonna take y'all with me. Now I'm just gonna do little recordings throughout the store because they'll probably have music playing and I don't want no copyright strikes. I'm in the parking lot. I don't normally drive like this. I'm just so excited, okay? And apparently everyone in my county had the same idea as I did. Let's go to the new store. Yeah. I don't like traffic. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna sit and wait on this guy to come out. And I can't go around. Oh, jeez. Yeah, everybody's going in. It's called Nordstrom Rack. R-A-C-K. Rack. Well, I don't know why I spelled that. Because it's going to come up on my screen. I'm just too excited, okay? Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm going to go around to the other side and see if I can get a better parking place. Okay, um, yeah, let's go inside and... I'll just make little bits and pieces videos, okay? Stand by. I need more notebooks. Oh, I love them so much. Why do I love them? I don't know. Y'all, it's insane in here. There's like a million people in here. <laughs> so I can't film quite as much as I want to. Dearest baby Jesus, why? Did I decide to go to a store the day after they opened? Oh, I took my glasses off and put them in my bag because it's raining. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't want to get my glasses all wet. So, out of the whole entire store and everything that I could buy, I bought lip stuff like I need that. That's just a thing that I do. That's the thing, that's just the thing I've always done. Okay, I bought this lip. It's, they do sell MAC. They didn't have the makeup, not that I need any. I mean, you know, the foundation. Not that I need any, because somebody sent it to me. Uh, but they had gloss and lipsticks and eyeliners and eyeshadows. This is another one of those that's supposed to plump your lips. <laughs> There's no hope. There is no hope for these lips. And I bought washcloths. <laughs> yes, I walked around with a pair of jeans in my shopping cart, buggy, trolley, that I thought I was gonna buy. I even tried them on. Yeah, 
I don't know what I looked at when I put them in my shopping cart as far as the price goes, but <laughs> uh, I look—I don't know what I looked at, but when I looked at it again, I said, um, those are $90. <laughs> I don't need a pair of jeans that bad to pay $90. Yes, yeah, squirt plumping gloss. Do they look a lot bigger? <laughs> squirt plumping. It does feel good though. The color is amped because I'm all amped up. I started to buy a red and then I was like, Tracy, come on. You don't really wear red lipstick. Someone told me in the comments the other day, she said, is there a color that you can't wear or you can wear all colors or something like that? I think she said, I'm envious. And that's what my mom used to say to me. I am so jealous because you can wear literally any color. And I'm like, oh no, I'm sorry. But um, I feel like red lipstick is one of those that I really can't do. I feel like it's a bit harsh for me. Yeah, but whatever. Mm. Alrighty, that's the end of video number three and all three will be combined together and they will be put on will be put on another place over there and i will post the link to the completed video in the comments but we have to wait till the end of the day to post the link for that okay <laughs> There's some people that don't want to use the link specifically. So that's why I'm doing three, okay? I can't please everybody. I cannot. And <laughs> I can't even try to please everybody. So I'm doing what I know to do, okay? I'm getting really irritated. <laughs> I'm trying to remember that Jesus loves me. And Jesus loves you. And I hope he's coming back soon because this is driving me crazy. And I'll see y'all on the next video, which I guess will be tomorrow in three different sections uh, here and uh, one on the other one with a link posted to this one. And I hope everybody's happy, okay? Have a great day. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, toodles, manoodles, and stay silly. <laughs>